Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Chrome. In this video, we're looking at using the Reading List tool in Google Chrome. In some of my other videos in this series, I talked about ways to manage your bookmarks in Chrome. Bookmarks are great for sites that you want to save permanently and access over and over again. But what about sites that you might just need temporarily? Many times when I'm online, I may come across an article that I want to read, or a website that I want to explore, or a tool that I want to test out. But I don't have the time right now to do so. I want to save the site for later, but I don't really want to add it as a bookmark yet. What can I do? Well, thankfully, Google Chrome has a helpful built-in tool called the Reading List that is perfect for this type of situation. Let's take a look at how this works. Now, there are certainly lots of ways you could keep track of web pages and online tools that you want to get around to. You could add them to a Google Doc or a Notes app or even bookmark them. However, I have found that I really like the ease and convenience of the reading list in Google Chrome. Here's how it works. Let's say you come across a website that you want to save for later when you'll have more time to process it. Go to the top right corner of the Chrome browser and click on the button that says Show Side Panel. This will open up your side panel where you will see your current reading list. Now just click the button labeled Add Current Tab. The page you have opened will now get added to the reading list. We can do this for all of the pages that we want to get back to later. Later on, when we have some free time, well, like that ever happens, uh, we can go back to our reading list to start working through the pages we have saved. Once again, we start by going up to the top right-hand corner in the Chrome browser and clicking on Show Side Panel. Here we can see a list of all of our saved web pages. Simply click on a page in the list to open it back up. Now, when you're done exploring the page, you've got several options. First, you could just leave it in the reading list if you still need more time with it later. Or second, you could click the Mark as Read button for that page. This will move the page out of the unread section and down into the section titled Pages You've Read. This will help you keep track that you've already read the page, but maybe you still need to do something else with it, such as put it in a newsletter or bookmark it or such. Or third, you can simply click on the delete button next to the page to remove it entirely from your reading list. And that's it. With life being so busy, the Reading List tool in Google Chrome is an easy way to save articles, websites, and tools that you want to explore later when you have some time. I just hope you get some of that extra time to go through all of the awesome stuff you're going to save. And be sure to check out the other blog posts and videos in my series on Google Chrome to pick up more tips and helpful ideas. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. Thanks so much, and take care.